Hello and welcome to Kitchen Cracker Jacks. Today I'm going to show you how easy it is to make a tender and flaky pie crust right at home. This pie crust is super simple. There's only four ingredients. It takes less than 10 minutes to make and prepare, and it's better than any crust that you will get at any grocery store. These are the ingredients that you'll need. So let's get started. To start off, I have got a large bowl here and I've got one cup of all-purpose flour in there. I'm going to add in one third of a cup of vegetable shortening. Brand name Crisco here. You could also use lard if you wanted to. Uh, however, Crisco is easy to come by. I'm gonna add in just a pinch of salt and using a fork, I'm going to blend this vegetable shortening into the flour. You don't need any special equipment here. Uh, you don't have to use a food processor or anything like that. You'll actually end up spending more time cleaning the food processor than you will actually making this. So basically all you're gonna do is use the back of a fork and kind of push the shortening through the flour. And you wanna keep doing this until you have pea-sized pieces of shortening cut into your flour. You don't want this super fine. You don't wanna overwork it. You just wanna cut that shortening in until there's just little tiny pieces. Then I'm going to add in some cool water. I am not using ice water here. Uh, it's just a personal preference. It's just cool water right out of the tap. And I'm gonna start with between two and three tablespoons and add that in and using the same fork that I used to cut in the shortening, I'm just gonna stir this around and mix it in. Now, if you see that your dough is still a little bit too dry and it's not coming together, add in another tablespoon or two of water to that and continue mixing until it comes together and kind of forms a dough. Now you wanna watch it here because you do not wanna over mix your dough here. That will lead to a very tough dough and that's definitely not what you want. You want it nice and tender. And then using my hand, I'm just gonna bring this dough together into a ball. Then I'm gonna take some additional all-purpose flour and sprinkle that out onto my work surface. And I'm gonna take that ball of dough and place it right on top of that flour. I'm also going to flour my rolling pin here. And I'm going to start rolling this out. Now you notice I do not refrigerate my dough after I make it before I roll it out. Using solid vegetable shortening, you don't have to. Uh, the nice thing about using all shortening is A, you don't have to refrigerate it like I just said and B, it will give you the flakiest and most tender crust there is. And you're probably wondering, you know, why don't you add butter? You know, you want the flavor or everything else. Really, there's such a minuscule amount of butter in those recipes that actually do use some butter. Uh, it's really not gonna make that much of a difference by the time you fill up your pie uh, and you bake it and do all that other stuff. So I don't even worry about it. I just use straight vegetable shortening and I'm done with it. Now I'm just gonna keep rolling my dough out until it is about an inch wider than the pie plate that I'm gonna use. And to transfer your pie crust into your pie plate, you wanna place your rolling pin onto the edge of the crust, and you wanna roll over the edge of the crust over the rolling pin, and you just wanna roll that up. And then move your pie plate over, and then you just wanna unroll your crust right into the pie dish. Now I'm gonna work this crust down into the corners, because you want to make sure that there's no air pockets or anything underneath the crust. So just lift up the edge and using your fingers, just kind of press it into the corners. And you'll see here that I actually rolled this pie crust out a little bit too big. That's perfectly fine. I'm just going to take a pair of scissors and I'm going to trim off the excess crust that I don't need. Basically kind of shape it back up so it's an inch bigger than the plate that I'm using. And you can either discard that excess dough or you can use it and make little decorations for the top of your pie. It's totally up to you. To get a nice fluted edge, you just want to lift up the edge of the pie crust and tuck the edge up and under, kind of. You just want to make sure that that excess dough is on top of the rim of the pie plate. Now to even up that edge, you want to take your index fingers and thumbs and you're just going to work the outside edge, just kind of pressing that crust together with your fingers and also pressing it down onto the rim of the pie plate. You just want to make sure that it's nice and even all the way around. Uh, if there's any air bubbles, you want to make sure and get those out. And then to flute your pie edge, I'm not even going to try to explain it. You can just see how my fingers are working here. And then from here, you can go ahead and pour in your pie filling ingredients and then bake it according to the recipe's instructions. Or if your recipe calls for a baked pie crust, what you want to do is take a fork and you want to poke the bottom of your pie crust as well as the edges. And this is what they call docking in the industry. I don't know why. Basically, all you're gonna do is poke a bunch of holes in this, and this is gonna prevent your crust from puffing up when you go to bake it. Uh, and this eliminates the need to use uh, foil and parchment paper and pie weights and beans and all that other crap that 
all those celebrity chefs do. I've never used it. I've always done the docking method and it has always worked perfectly for me. And then to bake it, you just wanna put it into a preheated 350 degree Fahrenheit oven and bake it for 10 to 12 minutes. Uh, basically just until the crust is done. You don't want a whole lot of color on it uh, and then take it out and let it cool and then you can add whatever filling you want to it. And there you go, that is how easy it is to make a pastry pie crust from scratch at home. Really, it is not difficult at all. It looks a lot more complicated than it really is, but don't let it intimidate you. Next time you bake a pie, definitely try this out. If you like this video, be sure to give a thumbs up. I would greatly appreciate it. Subscribe for more deliciousness and to keep you up to date on all my latest videos. Thanks so much for watching and we'll see you next time.